Watch the Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? Well, Ed Sheeran, Donkey of the Day for Friday, September 30th. May or may not go to Tony Blevins. I have to lead. I have to leave that for you to decide with a little Breakfast Club court. Not you as in Ed Sheeran, but as in you, the people, the listeners. Okay. Let me tell you the story. Tony was Apple's vice president of procurement. Now, I don't know exactly what that job entails, but I did some research. And by research, I mean Google. The VP of procurement is responsible for leading procurement efforts to efficiently and effectively enable business units and functional partners to maximize the value they receive from suppliers to meet their objectives. And according to Google, it has a base salary for uh, it has a base salary. For companies like Apple, that range from 288000 to 376980 with an average base salary of 331780 It's probably way more, but that's what Google says. Uh, basically, it's a great job. Many humans on this planet would love to make that kind of money, and because of what people are perceiving as Tony's poor choice of words, there is now a job opening at Apple. See, Tony was approached by TikTok. And IG creator Daniel Mack, who is known for asking people in fancy cars what they do for a living. And Tony was driving a Mercedes Benz SLR Mc McLaren. I think I pronounced that right, which I believe is considered a fancy car. Envy you the car, guys. Is that a fancy ride? A Mercedes Benz SLR Mc McLaren? Yes, it's uh it, it was only made a couple of years, and that's the only uh, collaboration that Mercedes and McLaren did together. It's called a SLR. The doors go up. I feel you see like my silver collaboration with McDonald's. It just makes sense. The McDonald's, the McLaren. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I know nothing about it. I don't go chasing luxury cars. I stick to the Civics and the Camrys. I'm used to. All right. But he was in one of those fancy cars, the Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren, and he got approached by this big TikTok creator Daniel Mac, and this happened. Good sir, your car's awesome. What do you do oh, for a living? You. <laughs> I race cars, oh, play golf, and fondle big breasts and women. <laughs> but I take weekends and major holidays off. Okay. <laughs> that is quite the career. I'm looking to get into that. Uh, also, if you're interested, i got a hell of a dental plan. Okay. <laughs> you do it all. You do it all. Yeah. And you participate in this activity. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I guess fondling big-breasted women is what he calls procurement. Now, what's interesting about that is... It was simply unnecessary. You are a senior executive at Apple. You get paid for helping to procure apples, not melons, which is what I find hilarious about that video. You didn't talk about apples at all, but you went right to coconuts, the melons, the grapefruits, the watermelons, depending on if they got scratch marks or not. And needless to say, Apple didn't like it. Let's go to Bloomberg for the report, please. Today we reported that Tony Blevins, Apple's longtime vice president of procurement, been at the company for about 22 years or so. Uh, he is leaving the company after he appeared in a very viral video uh, that aired earlier this month on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, and in the video, he made some crude comments. This is a TikTok and Instagram account uh, by a creator named Daniel Mack. He goes up to people at car shows in Beverly Hills, elsewhere in the world, goes up to people and asks them if they're driving a fairly expensive car, what they do for a living, and Blevins' response was clearly not in line with what Apple felt was acceptable, uh, leading to his departure now from the company. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This is where Breakfast Club Court comes in, and this is where I need to ask you to listen to this if he should get the biggest hee-haw, because I don't think he should have to step down. I don't think he should be fired, because y'all may not know, but he was quoting the movie. And the movie was a film called Arthur. And Arthur was a 1981 film in which Dudley Moore plays a wealthy, alcoholic playboy in search of love. And when asked what he does for a living, this is what Arthur replied with. What do you do for a living? I race cars, I play tennis, I fondle women, but I have weekends off and I am my own boss. <laughs> Dudley Moore is Arthur. So Tony Blevins was trying to be funny. He's just old. You know what I'm saying? I get it. He's old. Dude runs up on him from TikTok and IG. He wants to seem cool, so he quotes Dudley Moore and Arthur. But what you don't realize, Tony, is that when you older what we find funny, what wasn't offensive to us in our generation, in our entertainment, is offensive to this generation. So should this man be punished because this generation doesn't know he's making a joke, doesn't know he's quoting a movie? You know, all they know is no. that he's an Apple executive and he he went on TikTok and he went viral and everybody's making this thing a 
making a stink out of this thing because he quoted a movie? Should he be fired? Should he be forced to step down for this? I personally don't think so. But the card is open. Let's discuss. All right. 800-585-1051. Let's have this a conversation. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.